As someone with chronically low willpower, working memory issues, and sleep difficulties, I've learned that the best results come when I make optimal feel easy. So in this video, I'm sharing some of my favorite automations and shortcuts, helping with everything from reining in impulsive spending to automatically turning reminders into alarms. Hey, I'm Spencer, and I'm on a mission to make optimal feel easy in all areas of life. Timestamps are in the description, but I'm most excited about number one, so let's dive in. I've wasted an insane amount of money in my life, but this first automation can help you rein in that impulsive spending, even if you don't use a budget. Let's say I'm grabbing a morning coffee and I tap my phone to pay. The automation will take over and ask roughly how frequently I make this sort of purchase. Then it will show you what your current habit will cost you in 40 years. Yikes, a daily stop at Starbucks would cost me almost $2 million. This includes the price you pay each day as well as interest because in theory, any dollar I didn't waste today could be used paying off debt or as an investment, both of which compound exponentially. To set it up, you can first get the shortcut from the link in the description, then tap Get Shortcut to download it from iCloud. Once you install it, it will ask you some onboarding questions. These questions will allow you to specify the highest interest rate you currently pay on any debt or earn on any investment. I've set mine to 12.5% because that's the interest on my wife's student loan. And like I said, any dollar I didn't waste today could be, in theory, paying off that debt. If you don't know what to put, just stick with 12.5% since I think it's low enough to be in the ballpark of what's realistic, but high enough to make the numbers feel somewhat alarming. Now, to turn this shortcut into a true automation, head back to the Automation tab in Shortcuts, tap the plus icon, and choose the Transaction Trigger. You could choose to filter transactions so that the automation only runs for certain types of purchases. You don't want to run this for things like physiotherapy appointments, and we'll opt to run this immediately. Then tap Next to proceed. If you've just installed the Trends shortcut from the link in the description, it should be visible for you already, but if not, we can just search for it and tap on it. The shortcut itself is pretty simple. It just takes the amount you've spent and asks you roughly how frequently you make this sort of decision. Then, assuming you're not to change your behavior, it calculates how much that decision would cost you in 40 years, assuming a 12.5% annual interest rate. This probably isn't an automation you want to leave on indefinitely, but leave it on for a few weeks and you'll be amazed at how just a few repeated behaviors add up to quite a bit of money in your lifetime. The good news is that you may be only three or four habits away from millions of extra dollars in retirement. Hopefully, the trends automation can help you identify and snap out of a few of these patterns. I'm personally on a streak of 220 days of doing my morning routine, and if you'd like to lock in this level of consistency yourself, then you're definitely going to want to check out my free guide to the top free apps to optimize your morning routine. I've taught these tricks to hundreds of ADHDers, and so I'm confident they can help you lock in the same level of consistency. Next up is a majorly overhauled version of the calendar to alarms automation I published in my last video. When you're adding an event to your calendar, you can opt to simultaneously create an alarm for that event by typing alarm into the location field. If I pop over to my clock app, you'll see that behind the scenes, an alarm gets created at the exact time of the event, with the event title and details included in the alarm label. The updated version I'm showing you today also has a few other features you've requested. Once you have the shortcut, we're ready to turn this into a true automation. So go to the Shortcuts app and tap on the Automation tab along the bottom. Tap on the plus icon in the top right to create a new one. At a minimum, we want to trigger this automation to run whenever we leave the Calendar app. So select the App Trigger. Then tap Choose, and I'll just choose the Calendar app. Though if you want, you could run this more frequently by selecting a few other apps as well. Tap Done and toggle the check marks so that this is triggered whenever those apps are closed. Set this to run immediately and then tap Next to move on. Now we need to choose what this automation will actually do. So if you've just downloaded the shortcut, it will likely be visible toward the top of this list. So just tap on it to complete the setup. You can take it for a test drive by adding a calendar event and adding the word Alarm to the location field. The original version from my last video had some limitations, so I've organized the new features into three categories. Alarm management, offsetting alarms, and all day events. Let's look at alarm management. This version of the shortcut will actually delete those old dormant alarms that would actually clutter up your clock app. And similarly, if you decide to move, duplicate, or delete an event from your calendar, this automation will keep the alarms up to date behind the scenes. A few of you also asked about getting an alarm to go off before an event starts, so I've given you a few options. 
When you first set up this shortcut, it will ask you some setup questions that allow you to customize the shortcut. First question asks you to specify the default offset. That is the number of minutes before an event you want to create an alarm for. If you know you always want alarms to go off five minutes before each calendar event, then you can enter five. And then if I add an event for 9 a.m., you can see the corresponding alarm gets created for 8.55 a.m. Finally, we can specify a default alarm time for all day events. Note that the offset time we just discussed doesn't apply to all day events. Those are addressed by the second setup question, which asks you what time you want alarms to sound for all day events. I'll just change mine to 7.30 a.m. and I suggest you make sure you type in the time properly here, follow my format. And now when I add an all day event, that alarm shows up automatically at 7.30 a.m. But wait, that's not all. What if you want to deviate from those defaults for a specific event? Don't worry, I got you. In the location field, type in alarm minus the number of minutes you want the alarm to sound before the event. For all day events, this will make an alarm that goes off that many minutes before your default time. And for normal events, your default offset will just be ignored and instead the custom offset will be used. So for an appointment with a longer drive, I can write alarm minus 30 and that will sound 30 minutes before the event. Even I'll admit this is pretty sick, but allow me to clarify something. You should not need to use this automation most of the time. This is a hack for when you want your calendar to go above and beyond its normal ability to get your attention. But just so we're clear, if you find you need to use this almost all of the time, that's a red flag to me. Because if your phone is set up properly, your calendar should normally be able to get your attention. And if it can't, then there's a whole host of other changes you should probably look into making first. Maybe I can cover this in a future video. Just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. Similar to that last one, here's an automation that allows you to turn reminders into alarms. When you're creating a reminder and you want to set up an alarm, just select the date and time of the reminder as normal, but then you can opt to add an alarm by adding the alarm tag. Once you've used the alarm tag once, it should pop up as an option, but you might need to type it out the first time. When you leave reminders, an automation automatically sets up the corresponding alarm. You can make this even faster by performing these steps in the calendar app. Just long press to start creating an event at the relevant date and time, and then release and select reminder. Add your title, then hashtag and tap alarm. This works much the same way as the previous automation, so you can set it up the same way. Or in this case, here's how we can modify that previous automation we set up so that a single automation will trigger both shortcuts. First, get the shortcut from the description below, then open up shortcuts and find that automation tab. Find that original automation we created in the previous section of this video. Mine is the one called when calendar is closed. The when section describes the trigger that starts the automation. So we should change this automation so that it also triggers whenever we close the reminders app. So tap this text beneath the word when, then tap this top section to add more apps. Then search for and add reminders to this list Then tap done. We also wanna change what this automation actually does once it's triggered. So find the automation again, Note that its title has now changed slightly and mine's now called when any of two apps are closed. We'll tap the shortcut under the do heading and then tap new blank automation. Search for run shortcut and then add it. Then tap on this faint blue text to select the shortcut. First we'll select the convert events to alarms version two shortcut. And since we actually want this automation to run two shortcuts back to back, now tap on the symbol to the left of the shortcut action and duplicate it. Then in this second case, tap again on that faint blue text and here we'll choose to run the convert reminders to alarms shortcut. Then tap done to complete. Given the nature of reminders and to make use of that fast and handy tagging trick, I decided not to bake in the ability to offset the alarms and this only works with alarms that have a fixed date and time. But now when you add a reminder that you just can't afford to miss, you can quickly tag it with alarm to automatically add that alarm to your clock app. I typically pay for things like physiotherapy appointments when I'm on my way out the door. If I need to submit that bill to get covered by insurance, then I know the best time to do it is right away, but honestly, sometimes I just forget, or even worse, I just can't be bothered. So here's a simple automation that can nudge you to get the most out of your employee benefits, and it's alarmingly simple. Whenever I tap to pay for this sort of appointment, my phone prompts me to claim it right away by automatically opening my insurance app. By the time I'm staring at the app, I figure, hey, what the heck, and I knock it off my to-do list right away. Here's how to set this up, as well as a few variations for you to consider. 
Tap on the plus icon to create a new personal automation, then scroll down to the transaction trigger. In this case, we might choose to only run this automation for purchases in the health category, or to get even more specific, you could filter to select only the merchants that are relevant to this automation. I've recently been to my physiotherapist and chiropractor, so they'll both be on this list. I'll tap done, choose to run this immediately, and then tap next. Since we're building this shortcut ourselves, tap on new blank automation. And in this case, we just want to open our insurance app. So search for the open app action and add it. Tap on that faint blue text and find whatever insurance app is relevant to you. Okay, that's the basic bill. But if you notice that every time you go to make a claim, you're being asked to submit a receipt, here's a cool way to customize this. Let's build the automation so that it will automatically open our email, take a screenshot of the relevant receipt, and then bring us back to our benefits app. This is sort of a pseudo automation. We can tap on the little icon next to an action to see some more options, then tap duplicate. Then change the first one so that it opens our email instead. We'll want to wait a few seconds to find the relevant email with the receipt, so search for the wait action and drag it into position. Then tap on the blue text and add several more seconds. Search for the show alert action and drag it into position. Change the text to screenshot and continue. This will effectively prolong the wait in case you aren't quite ready yet. Then search for the take screenshot action, drag it into position so that the automation ends with opening your benefits app of choice. Now, when you tap to pay, you'll be brought to your email, prompted to take a screenshot, and then ushered through to your benefits app to complete the submission. Easy peasy. If you wind up needing to upload a screenshot of the receipt, you'll have it right there in your photos. Andrew Huberman and Matt Walker have really turned me on to the benefits of optimizing my light exposure to maximize sleep quality and daytime wakefulness. So what makes morning light so beneficial? Natural daylight does seem to be critical. Early in the day, bright light in the morning from sunlight, 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 morning light, getting sunlight, sunrise, get outside, get that benefit. This next automation simply creates an alarm 10 minutes before the sun rises each morning. Create a new automation and this time choose the time of day trigger. As you might expect, this allows us to trigger the automation at a fixed time or more useful in this case, we can choose sunrise or sunset. Ultimately, we're aiming to set up an alarm that goes off 10 minutes before sunrise. So tap on sunrise and you'll be prompted to choose an offset. Remember, at this step, we aren't choosing when the alarm will be. That will come at a later step. For now, we're just choosing when the automation should run. So I'll set mine to run 15 minutes before sunrise. This can repeat daily and we'll want this to run immediately. Tap next. Then choose create new blank automation. First, search for date and tap to add. You'll see it gets the current date and time. And since this automation runs 15 minutes before sunrise, we want to add five minutes so that the alarm we create will be 10 minutes before sunrise. So search for adjust date and add that, then tap on seconds and we'll change the units to minutes and then tap on that faint blue zero, which is still awaiting our input and then type five and then tap done. Next, search for alarm and select the add alarm action. Once again, this faint blue text is calling for us to input something, so tap on it and then we can add that adjusted date from the previous step. You can close out of any options it gives you and now rename the alarm to something like get sunlight. And we're done. I hope you enjoy all those beautiful sunrises you've been missing. Remember, you may be just a few small changes for making optimal feel easy. So like my dad used to ask, why struggle? To level up even more, check this video out right here and don't forget to grab my free guide to the top free apps to dial in your morning routine. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.